What's going on guys? Chris here, Palmer Aquatics. How's life? How's your tanks? Uh, life is great for me. I took a little time off there. I needed some mental, personal time because Chris loses his beans once in a while. You guys probably saw my last rant video. I was on a downward spiral and I just needed to kind of like hit a rock bottom and then start over per se. So just take that however you want. Guys, uh, today I want to talk about keeping aquarium bluegill sunfish and I have a bluegill sunfish in the six foot tank over here. Uh, this tank, you might be wondering, it has leaked three times. I've resealed this stupid tank three different times. Here you think uh, you fish YouTubers have perfect lives and what have you. Not the case. Uh, I've resealed it three times and it's failed. So. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it and buy a new one. It's that simple. Giving you guys some quick updates. Uh, I'm painting the floor here in my office. Yes, that's my my Black Lab Lacey. She's an old lady. I love her to death. Um, this is the tank that's leaking, that's condemned and possessed. Uh, what else is new here? I wanna give you guys some quick updates. A lot of my tanks have been neglected. Uh, this substrate that I did videos on, the floor dry, is an absolute mess. I'll never use it again. Uh, chalk that up as a complete failure, but that's what we do around here is test, test, test. Hey, look, there's a female Dempsey. Um, so I'm moving all the fish out of there into here. Um, what else is new? I've decided to section out a lot of my tanks into breeding pairs of fish so I can start breeding again. I have a breeding pair of Jack Dempsey's in this tank and male and female in there. They're starting to lay eggs. I have uh, a female red devil in here with my purple rose queen. You can see that beast back there. They're already attempting to lay eggs. This tank up here has a bad issue of ick that I can't get rid of. Every fish I have in there gets it. So I just have platies in here to kind of just give it some time. I might break it down, completely clean it with bleach. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do yet, if I'm being honest. The flower horns, um, I think I might sell this guy because you know, I have two big flower horns and I don't really see a reason to have two of them because I'm kind of in the the mix of trying to breed fish but I could try to breed them I don't know it's it's tough trying to find housing or tanks for flower horns because this is a 75 gallon split and I, I feel bad that that's not adequate enough room for the fish there you know a lot of breeders will do that and feel fine but I just don't feel great about it so uh, what else what else what else uh the planet tanks in here I'm deciding to remove all the planted tanks in here. I'm sending out a lot of plants to super fans because I have tons and tons of plants. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. This room is heated, so I, I don't, I shouldn't have my planted tanks in here because it's not smart because planted tanks don't need to be heated. So yeah. All right, guys, let's talk about keeping aquarium bluegill sunfish in a tank and what I personally think about this. All right, I gotta take a deep breath because I'm just jacked up and pumped up. Uh, guys, I apologize, I haven't uploaded for like the last month and it's because uh, Chris kind of went on a downward spiral mentally. You might've seen my last rant video where I kind of just lost my beans. Uh, I kind of hit a rock bottom and I'm gonna start over. You can just take that however you want. Um, I just, uh, I'm going back at it though, I promise. And there's gonna be a lot of videos to come. So let's get back to talking about bluegill. A lot of people ask me what I think of keeping bluegill in an aquarium. And they're kind of known as a native species around here because our lakes are super cold and the fish have to withstand the crazy winters. And bluegill are probably one of the toughest fish on the planet. Of course, he's just giving us his ass in and you can't see him. My opinion on keeping them, it's super easy to set up a tank. Uh, like I told you guys, they're one of the toughest and most sturdy cichlids on the planet. Literally, you don't have to heat the tank, so that's really nice. Um, there he is back there. But my personal opinion, uh, you know, why would you keep a bluegill sunfish when I can keep much cooler fish like this? Like, look at this thing. This is a 13 inch Jaguar cichlid. Like, why in the world would I keep a bluegill when I can keep something like that, or, or a flower horn for that matter. Like this fish is just so much cooler, even though I need to use a heater and heat the, the water temperature to 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's just, you can see he's pretty timid in there. Usually sunfish aren't timid. Usually they're pretty tough fish, but I'm guessing in this tank, it's just, he is not, you know, someone just dropped this guy off too, so. You know, he's, it's, 
They're pretty boring fish in my honest opinion. Some of the pumpkin seeds species are a lot cooler looking. They have like green pumpkin seed species. This is just your run of the mill, boring sunfish that's kind of getting bossed around in an aquarium. You know, there's a lot of tank bosses in here. I mean, look at this guy. How can you compete with that guy? Uh, some of these fish have like nicks and bite marks out of them. That's because I overcrowd my cichlid tanks and that's kind of how I deal with the aggressive fish being together. I kind of have a bad rap as far as like keeping tank mates with fish that shouldn't be together. I have kept flower horns together. I've kept, you know, purple rose queens, Midas, uh, red devils, you know, like I've, if you can push boundaries with fish, with cichlids per se, I've done it. Like uh, just going over to this tank over here, I have four green terrors in here, fire mouths. Look at how beautiful these fish are. The trick is you just gotta be careful and watch what you're doing. Every day I come down here, I make sure there's no like, you know, you gotta have a hospital tank per se. When the fish get beat up, that's when they go to the hospital tank to kind of cure, use some salt, uh, jack up the temperature a little bit to like 82 is what I do. And it just kind of like, they come back to life. So, but yeah, you can see their, their, uh, their finnage is a little beat up. Um, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, my personal opinion on keeping sunfish though, they're just boring, super easy to set up a tank for. Uh, I would go with a 55 gallon minimum because they can grow up to like a foot. You know, you see big, big sunfish that you catch that are the size of your hand so they can grow pretty large. Colder water does fare well better as far as like filtration, you know, like it's warmer water goes bad faster if that makes any sense. So. I don't know though, guys, why in the heck would I keep a bluegill if I can keep these guys? Look at the magnificent, just beauty of them. Look at that. I'm just, uh, sorry, I am obsessed with jaguar cichlids. All you guys know that, that follow my channel. This Severa might have to come out of here because I don't like some of his finnage. See the side of his, see the side of his fins right there? I don't like that. Um, this, this tank actually did have ick, like, three weeks ago so you might still see some mild symptoms of ick on the fish that sunfish has seen better days uh if anybody local wants him please come get him because he's just you know he's being bullied people drop off fish here and i do my best of what i can do so all right let's flip the cam a lot of people have been asking what's going on with the shop build. and to be honest with you i'm taking a little hiatus break and some people have said well we're donating to your membership and i apologize guys but life is life um this things have come up i had two grandmas die uh i started drinking more because of it uh my life kind of went down a spirally path and now i'm just clean and sober and i'm just kind of on a cleaner path talking to a therapist if i'm being completely honest with you and i'm just being positive so let me know in the comment section what you wanna see next with this channel and what you think of keeping aquarium bluegill in tanks. Have you done it? Will you continue to do it? Uh, will you tell your friends they should do it? I don't know, let me know. They're keeping fish in glass boxes is more than a hobby. It's a lifestyle.